Yeah, I mean, making sure that you have proper practices uh, and protocols and best practices in place uh, definitely help to navigate some of the regulations. Have you ever had a team member, Dr. Choi, that didn't follow your best practices and how do you handle that? Yeah, so uh, that that uh, brings up a uh, uh, you know important uh, kind of uh, event. Um, so um, the uh, I so my current uh, VA uh, from uh, that was hired uh, through uh, BBC uh, was that my original uh, hire. Um, unfortunately, the first go around, um, even though we do our best, you know, every side uh, does uh, their best to try to make sure that uh, we're all good fit. Um, even though the interview process went well, kind of selection for the candidates uh, uh, amongst a pool of candidates uh, went uh, seemingly well, when kind of it came to uh, t um, the time to kind of really work with each other, it was really not a good fit. And unfortunately, after a couple of months, we had to kind of uh, kind of go our separate ways. Um, uh, it, it, multiple um, attempts were made to try to uh, remediate um, kind of the uh, issues that uh, were constantly being noticed, uh, but uh, there was a little resistance. And so we, we had to kind of um, sever ties. But um, thankfully, uh, BBC was great in kind of uh, working with our office to try to find the replacement uh, candidate. We went through the same kind of uh, protocol um, and um, BBC was very, uh, great in kind of uh, working with me to make sure that I had ample options in terms of uh, pool of candidates. And after uh, vetting um, the, the candidates, um, uh, we settled on uh, my current VA, Angelo, and uh, he has been my most valuable asset uh, for sure in terms of kind of uh, 